Hi guys, so in this video, I'm gonna be, as promised, walking you through the CoinsPH uh, app or website. So, ito yung para sa mga tao na gustong mag-cash in or people who would like to cash out their crypto earnings. So, halimbawa, kung kumikita na kayo ng mga million-million and nahihirapan na kayong i-withdraw yan dahil ayaw nyo matawagan ng banko, pinap sinasabihan na kayo, Sir, pwede na kayong pumunta dito sa uh, branch para i-update yung account niyo yung mga ganong mga bagay. Alam nyo na kung ano ibig sabihin nun, guys. Not a bad thing, uh, but usually pagka nagkaroon kayo ng ganang tawag, ibig sabihin meron kayong ginawang transaction na unusual. Ibig sabihin nun, um, the usual transaction that you have, let's say monthly, you transact uh, 100k. And then biglang may lumapag dun sa account niyo nag-deposit kayo ng mga 2 million, 5 million worth of uh, kung saan man ang galing yan. Let's say galing sa, sa crypto, right? Tapos nag-P2P kayo using other uh, merchants. So, automatic mafa-flag yun. And they wanna be nice. They wanna make sure na, you know, kasi syempre customer ka pa rin nila. And then baka mamaya, you're gonna be availing of all these services. But syempre, before that, they gotta know what you're doing, what is the nature of this transaction, all that stuff. And so, um, again, if you wanna avoid having those, I suggest that you would like or you would diversify kung paano kayo mag out. So, pwede kayo dito, pwede din sa ibang exchanges, basta diversify nyo. And try not to hit certain limits. And siguro naman pagka, uh, let's say, meron kayong ibang katransak, and then gusto nyo namang, uh, halimbawa, nagka-crypto din yung tao na yun, edi pay yourselves into crypto na lang, di ba? Transact na in crypto para mas mabilis. Wala pang mga fees. Less than 1 peso pa, di ba? Bilis. So anyway, um, here we are in the dashboard of CoinsPH. Uh, you can see here, uh, I have the estimated value. Um, it's already shown in peso. I'm not going to show you guys how I log in because you can log in through your email, through your phone, pwede. Um, and one of the things that you need to know as well is here, there are certain limits that you can do. If hindi kayo nag-verify, then syempre konti lang yung limit na pwede niyong gawin. So, ibig sabihin nito, monthly, kung hindi kayo nag-verify, basic information lang, nag-open kayo ng account, around 2,000 lang yung pwede niyong i-cash in. Withdrawal, none. <laughs> and then, ito na, pag nag-verify uh, nag na kayo, identity, tapos meron na din kayong address. So, mas malaki na yung pwede niyong i-withdraw, i-transact. So, 100 is cash in, and then pwede kayong mag-cash out ng malaki din. Ayan, so ito yung monthly na, na pwede niyong i-cash in na ano, total lang pang. So, um, here, the, let's just close that. Here, in this account, it's already level 3. So, pwede na ako mag in ng 400k. And then, pwede ako mag-withdraw ng mga up to 5 million. So, 5.2 million ang pwede kong isend. So, this can be sent into another Coins Pro account. Pwede din siyang external wallet. So, it's either uh, peso or crypto. Pwede ganun. Pretty convenient, right? And sobrang, sobrang konti lang ng fees nito. Now, here are the few cool things that I found out here in this um, uh, app. Pwede ka, for example, you have uh, 100 pesos, right? And you want to buy crypto kasi bullish ka on certain things. Hanapin natin dito yung wala palang Solana dito, guys. So, coin speech. Sana man lang add nyo yung Solana. Para maging client nyo ako ng mas, mala, ng mas, uh, mas madalas nyo akong client. Alright? So, halimbawa, sobrang bullish kay kay ETH. Um, and you want to buy ETH. Right? There's deposit, there's withdraw. Siyempre, like, kung wala kayong ETH or you want to put ETH here, go ahead. You can do that. Uh, withdraw. Pwede din naman. Makikita nyo dito yung send to external wallet. Halimbawa, you have a, let's say, Metamask or meron kayong Ledger. Or you want to send it to another coins pro user, you can do that as well. Um, but here, for example, if you want to buy ETH, right? There you go. Uh, just go to quick buy and sell and then select buy crypto. So by doing this, um, at magmamarket order siya, magmamarket buy, pwedeng mangyari is, halimbawa, ilalagay mo dito ETH. Uh, there you go. And then from here, kung meron kayong available na peso, yun yung pwede nyo gamitin para uh, i-transact or pangbili ng ETH. So, select natin ETH, confirm, and then purchase successful. Uh, you would notice here, lalabas yan after a few um, ano ba, moments. Tingnan natin. Meron ba? Lumabas ba? Or walang lumabas? Ayun, so zero na and then ETH lumabas na dito, 98. So notice, meron pa ring spread. Ibig sabihin nun, um, you know, the, the platform gets, let's say, a percentage of um, the transaction fee. So, yeah, part of buy and sell, guys. That's how business works. Um, if you want competitive rates, alam nyo kung asan pupunta. Pero, for this example, I just wanna show you guys, ito yung mga pwede nyo gawin. 
Kasi syempre, iba pa rin naman pag kino-convert nila from crypto to peso. Siguro pag maraming mga liquidity providers, then mas magiging maganda at competitive yung rates natin. But for now, um, ito yung magiging kumbaga, rate or yung mga fees nila. So if you're transacting into a bigger amount, note, um, make sure lang talaga na uh, ano, ano, alam niyo kung ano ginagawa niyo. Baka mamaya kasi magulat kayo, uy, bakit ang laki ng kaltas nun? Right? So, um, those are the things that kailangan yung i-factor in as well. Now, what if you want to cash in? Halimbawa, kumita kayo ng malaki, right? USDT, BNB, or whatever. And gusto nyo i-cash out dito sa CoinsPH. Now, here's the good thing. Uh, sige, teka. Deposit muna tayo. <laughs> so, meron ako ditong... Um, so, pag sinelect nyo yung peso, pag nag-deposit kayo dyan, makakapili kayo ng kung ano ng mga, let's say, ways to to deposit your peso. And that, that peso, pwede nyo gamitin pang bili ng kung ano ng crypto. Now, pag nag-withdraw naman kayo, ganun lang din. Pwedeng sa Coins Pro user, pwede din kayong mag-cash out. So, when you select cash out, pwede kayong mag-cash out using Gcash, BPI, Union Bank. So, meron kayong top picks dito. And then, if you can't find your bank there, andito lang naman. And then, e-wallets and all that stuff. So, pretty cool. And, eto, hanapin natin. Saglit lang. Um, ano nga yung dapat kong gawin? Yeah. So, USDT. Kasi alam ko, ito yung pinaka um, nauuso na crypto that you can send. So here, you can just go to BNB Chain. Uh, that's my preferred. You copy that. And then I have here my MetaMask wallet or my hot, wa hot wallet. And then I can send here, let's say for example, taka, lagay na natin dito. Okay, so magsusend tayo ng USDT. Send tayo ng mga 50. Alright, 2,780. So automatic. Pag sinend ko yan, um, yeah, like, very likely, less than 15 seconds. So hopefully, pagka nag-confirm ito, papasok yung ating pera dito sa USDT. And then from there, pwede nyo na siyang i-cash out, let's say, in your bank, in your, um, let's say, Gcash or stuff like that. Up to you kung paano nyo siya gagawin. Uh, but yeah, basic na mga, I would say, tips is, um, kasi dito, mm. ano naman sila eh, uh, what I've, heard or what I know, kasi di ba, uh, if you watch that video na nilink ko dun sa post ko originally, um, about the regulations, yung AMLA and stuff like that, just, you know, like, you have rights, pwede nyo namang ilaban, pero at, uh, just to be very safe na rin, try not to hit yung mga limits na yun, yung 400 plus K, at saka pagka halimbawa, yung mga malaking transaction kayo na ganun, with your bank especially, give them a call, give them a heads up para hindi na yung sila yung tatawag sa'yo. Para ikaw na yung unahan mo na sila sa pagtawag tapos sabihin nyo, oh, meron akong transaction, I have something na amount so and so, ganito yung nature of the deposit para ma-heads up mo na sila. And then when they get that, hindi ka na nila message na, ah, okay, you know, like, sir, pwede pa kayo pumunta sa branch and do this and do that. Hassle. All right, so, tingnan natin. All right, medyo matagal. Check natin. Hopefully, dumating naman. Refresh na lang, refresh na lang natin. <laughs> okay, mukhang wala pa, guys. Mukhang wala pa! So, meron pang Ethereum. USDT address. Pati it. Ang weird. Okay. That's Ethereum chain. This is BNB chain. Yeah. Ito Polygon naman pag ginamit mo si Polygon. Parang na-interesting tuloy ako. Parang gusto kong mag-deposit dito ng Matic. Pero ang bagal, di ba? Oh, man. Kaya dapat, guys, may sila na dito. Hopefully, they will implement it. So, ayun. Ang ginamit ko pala, guys, is ano, pancake swap to ano, convert some of my BNB and then send to USDT. Uh, and convert into USDT and then from there, like send to coins. So while waiting guys, um, yeah, I want to show you guys this one as well. This is their Coins Pro. As you can see, merong mga iba't ibang tokens nandito. You have Doge, RPL, LDO. Ano tong solo? Hindi ko alam po ano Yeah, ang mahiwagang SLP. So this is all in um, PHP. So makita niyo na dito lahat ng ano, like uh, equivalent niya in peso. Now notice, meron din talagang mga ganitong klaseng um, bungi-bungi na liquidity. 
And that's because not a lot of um, tokens are available or circulating or being provided in this platform. That's why ganit yung itsura niya. So, ayun. Um, yeah, so if you're the type na you wanna do limit orders, for example, uh, limit orders, halimbawa, gusto mong bumili at a certain price, like 0.08. Gusto mong bumili na, oh, huwag yung SLB kasi alam ko marami sa inyo medyo uh, may traumatic experience when it comes to that. So let's just go to BTC PHP. And um, here, for example, ito, naka, ano na to eh, naka, um, I would say, ito na siya, di ba? Naka 1,458,000. Okay, diba? So, if you want, what you can do is you look for the price kung asan mo gusto mong bumili. Uh, let's say, gusto mong bumili ng 1.4 million. Sarado. Okay. Ayan. So, you can put here the amount of BTC or kung meron kayong available na peso, lalagay nyo lang dyan. Uh, but unfortunately, you know, walang BTC dito. I mean, wala tayong amount so hindi ko siya mapapakita. But since we have a little bit of BTC, what we can do is, halimbawa, gusto ko siya ibenta sa, uh, let's say, 3 million. Ito na ba? 3 million ba yan, guys? Baka mamaya 300,000 lagay ko, ah. <laughs> so, yan, 3 million BTC na kalagay. So, I'm gonna put here, uh, max sell order, and then makikita ko how much yung kikitain ko pag nabenta ko siya, 3 million. So, I'm just gonna put here, sell BTC, and then, once that limit order has been created, then, it's gonna just put it there. Uh, nakalagay lang siya dun sa sistema na yan. So, Parang naghihintay lang ako na ma-hit siya. Siyempre, kung hindi ma-hit, edi doon lang siya. And then, if you wanna cancel that order, lalabas naman yan dito. And then, you can always like select cancel and then that, that's it. So, ayan. Ayan guys, so dumating na dito yung ating um, USDT. Medyo natagalan siya. Um, sobrang na-spoil na ako ng ibang network. Uh, but yan guys, andito na yung 50 USDT natin. Kita nyo naman, walang uh, bawas. Yung gas kinuha na natin dun sa wallet na yun. Uh, but basically, that's it. That's how you do the whole transaction. Up to you if you wanna withdraw that. Or let's say, for example, um, sige, sagarin na natin. Pero hindi ko na papakita kung paano ko. Ano, i, ano ba yan? Yeah, so, uh, basically, ito na siya. Um, if you wanna quick trade, so, you wanna sell it or buy crypto with PHP. Ah, wait lang. So, ito, sell pala. Sell crypto with PHP. Hanapin nyo lang dyan yung crypto na meron kayo. Let's say, for example, USDT. From there, you can select uh, your crypto. And then, yeah, select max, sell USDT. Meron kang... Bakit parang ano? Hmm. Akala ko, ah, oh, sige. Parang nanabigla lang ako, akala ko mga 272 eh. 2,800, di ba? Di... Good. Ayan, so, sell... Ah, sell tuloy. <laughs> Sold na guys, and then now it's in PHP. From PHP, you can decide to withdraw that, or uh, you can decide to trade that for, let's say, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, or whatever tokens na nakikita nyo dyan. So, just ganun lang. Hanapin nyo lang withdraw, uh, cash out if you want, and then select ko ano yung parang gusto mo kung asan ka magka-cash out. Uh, but basically, that's it guys. So easy, right? Uh, medyo kakabahan ka lang minsan sa paghintay but um, just make sure na uh, na whitelist mo yung wallet mo, yung address mo tsaka nakapi mo ng tama and you're gonna be good so ayun lang, hopefully you guys have learned something in this video thank you, bye bye